From Tent 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flint, your weather authority. Get low, because it's still windy out there. I mean, look at that. A lot of people are saying, come on, dude, with the wind. Can we stop it already? I mean, look at that thing shake. So we're still dealing with a gusty wind here. That's the U.S. Static weather camera. It's not an earthquake, I promise. Uh, but, yeah, it speaks to the fact that we still have a gusty wind. 30 degrees today, but that was at midnight. So unless you were up at midnight, you never felt that because numbers were dropping through the day as expected. Uh, four one-hundredths melted at the airport, and it was windy. It continues to be tonight. Peak gust at the airport today, 38 miles an hour. Now at the door tomorrow morning, is probably going to be some leftover flurries. Nothing major. Uh, just some snow flurries moving through. Temperatures are in the teens. Winds are going to shift southwesterly. They're still going to be perky through the day, but at least it will help our cause a little bit. I don't know if that's saying much. I mean, 30s, it's not great, but it's better than like 20. Still have a uh, winter weather advisory. This is Chautauqua and Warren County. Uh, winter storm warning has been canceled. And earlier tonight, we were watching the snow parade over the lakes. So we're pretty much done with accumulating snow. Nothing worse than a, another trace to an inch. But earlier this evening, you know, on some of these more persistent snow bands, you picked up uh, a f another two, three inches of fluff. 18, Barron, 22 right now, Niagara Pier, 18 in McCain, 16 Edinburgh, French Creek, Cory at 15 in Union City. We shift the view into Warren County tonight. 14, Chandler's Valley, 15 right now in Youngsville. It's cold everywhere. 14, Meadville, 17, Cambridge Springs. So you can see there on satellite radar uh, the snow parading over the lake. But what's happening as we go through the overnight here is this lake effect snow that we've been dealing with, we become a little bit more disrupted and diffuse as we go through the overnight. So nothing worse than a few leftover flurries. Let's take you on future cast as we go through the day. Notice that little burst of snow that came through here late. That's with a warm front. That will actually represent some milder air that will be building in as we go into next week. Then this cold front. Uh, this will sneak through Tuesday. Nothing worse than a minor rain or snow shower. It will turn a little cooler behind the front, but that front will shift and tr change personality into a warm front and lift back north Look at the temperature by the time we get into St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, there's the uh, Irish eyes. 63, we'll take that, right? Jet pinpoint for the lake shore. On your Sunday, like I said, better but not great. Still breezy. Another round of light snow coming up into the afternoon. Nothing worse than an inch. Areas south, 34 to 38, breezy, chilly, with uh, some snow showers developing as we get into the late afternoon. And for the Chautauqua Allegheny region, brisky, breezy, scattered flakes, and a 23-hour Sunday for you. Don't forget to spring forward. And then it's 50 degrees on Monday, so the snow starts to melt. Again, a brief minor rain or snow shower Wednesday. No big deal. A little cooler, 45. And there you go, mid-50s Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day for the wearing of the green. 63, could be warmer Friday, but I think some wet weather approaches late in the day, Saturday, uh, looking showery, drizzly, temperatures upper 40s to near 50, or eerie.com. Click on weather, latest updated forecast there in the weather tab. I like the Irish accent. I try. <laughs> right. Moving right along. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at 11 o'clock, the Pennsylvania State Pool Tournament is underway at the Bayfront Convention Center. We'll hear from organizers and experts about the game coming up next.